Hi, this is Sean with MP3 Car. Today we'll be taking a quick look at how you can use your iPhone to practice hypermiling and do some common techniques to save a lot of money on your gas mileage. Let's take a look. So during our quick trip around town using hypermiling techniques and non-hypermiling -hyper techniques, we were able to get about 23 miles per gallon non-hypermiling and about 45 miles per gallon hypermiling. So at some instances during the trip when we weren't having to stop at all, we actually were able to average 60 miles per gallon, which is really good, and that's with hypermiling. Now, at some points during the trip, even, we were able to get upwards of 200 to 250 miles per gallon going down some hills. So you can see how this would really help our averages out. Another technique that some people follow is to never come to a complete stop. And of course the reason behind that is if you come to a complete stop, then you have to start up again. And that acceleration is what burns gas. So if you can, try never to go to a complete stop. Although at stop lights and red signs, at stop signs and red lights, it is illegal. Now using the cruise control is another great way to hypermile, but cruise control doesn't actually save your gas mileage about cruise control is it lets you accelerate using the excel button at very small increments so it's not actually the cruise control that's doing it it's the abilities that cruise control gives you so if you're if you need to start speeding up set your cruise control at 25 miles per hour and slowly accelerate using cruise control accelerate that way you're actually accelerating very slowly and it's actually saving gas mileage one common thing that you can do to hypermile to save money is anticipate your driving experience as in know what's coming and what's going on always look ahead now this is something that you should do anyway when driving but to save money what you're really trying to do is anticipate red lights so if the light has been green for a while know that it's probably going to be red and let off the gas and just kind of coast to the light otherwise uh, you can check out if the light is already red don't start speeding up uh, some people just like to are really impatient and they speed up right to the light but that's really burning gas what you need to do is make sure that the lights going to be green when you get to it there are some extreme hypermiling techniques that some people do that are actually pretty dangerous to do and I don't recommend them but uh, they are drafting behind big trucks so that you're actually caught in the wind behind them and they pull you along and then over inflating your tires to the point that they have a lot less friction and a lot less drag on it so you're actually able to keep going longer but both of those are very dangerous techniques Anyone can hypermile, but it's really important that you know your miles per gallon. If you don't know your miles per gallon or can't calculate it out, then you really have no idea if you're doing anything right or if your techniques are working. So you need to have some device. What you can do for cheap is if you have an iPhone, you can download something like RevApp that I have here, and then you get a piece of hardware for about one or two hundred dollars like this, and then you can read your miles per gallon live. So there are some common tasks that you can do, whether you have a hybrid vehicle or not, and still be able to get good gas mileage.